Together. Whatever we do, it isn't strong enough. What is it, Big Bear? Oh, I'm afraid I've got some sad news, everyone. Uh, oh no, the plum tree! Don't be too sad, Rosie. For every end is a new beginning. Hmm, I think I understand, and it's given me an idea. So you see, although it's sad that the plum tree has been blown over, perhaps there's a way that we can each take something from it and use it for something good. What do you mean? I just don't see how that's going to work. <gasps> oh, these leaves! They're so soft! Oh, Holly, quick, help me! <laughs> well, I could still use this last crop of plums to make another cake. And these twigs? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That they're exactly what we need. To mend the dam! I was thinking what you were thinking. And maybe... Can you hold this, please, Raggles? Yes! The trunk is just the right length to mend the fence with. The Mega Menders are <laughs> back in business.
managed to use every part of the tree. We did. The end was actually lots of new beginnings. So many good things have come from something that seemed so sad at first. Especially this cake. Oh, it's yummy. <laughs> oh, this should be the best crop of lettuces ever. Good, because I'm starving. <gasps> oh, no! No lettuce for tea now. What happened to them? Hmm, they must have been eaten by caterpillars. Oh, well, that happens sometimes. At least they will have enjoyed them. Caterpillars? So where are they? Look. Those don't look like caterpillars. They're chrysalids. They're what caterpillars become before turning into butterflies. Apart from this one. Oh, hello. I wonder why you haven't turned into one. He's very small. Yes. Would you like some lettuce, little fellow, to help you grow? <coughs> I'm worried about that caterpillar. He needs to eat more if he's going to turn into a butterfly like his brothers and sisters. Oakley? You're jogging? <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> it's great fun, isn't it? Thanks, Will. Ooh, I'm a bit out of puff now. <sighs> Time for a rest. <gasps> Hola! Not bad, Bluebird. My Spanish is getting pretty good, no? Now try, good morning, buenos dias. Actually, I think you'll find it's buenos dias. Hmm. Are you going to try something new, Holly? Um, what are you going to do that's new, Will? I want to try knitting. First, you've got to... Oh, don't worry, I can do it. Uh, Will? Oh, OK, maybe I do need some help. <laughs> Here, oh. let me show you. <laughs> That's it. Well done. Wow! Hey, is that the caterpillar you were telling me about? Why wouldn't he want to fly like a butterfly? I did it! Oh, thanks for showing me what to do, Holly. You're welcome. Well done! Well, that's lovely, Will. Though it might be a little bit small for me. <laughs> but it would be perfect for Archie. Ah, thank you, my friend. Ah, bonito, magnifico. <laughs> um, very well said, Bluebird. Well, wait till you hear this. Very good, Rosie. And nice dancing, Raggles. Yes, I thought I'd try something new too. So we've all tried something new today. Except Holly. Why don't you try the speeder now? No, thank you. Holly, are you scared to try? It's OK. I'm sure you'll be fine. <gasps> the caterpillar! He's scared too! He's scared of flying! I think you're right. But how can we persuade him to try something new? I have an idea. So you see, you'll become a beautiful butterfly like these. And you'll still be able to come and visit. And if you're scared of flying, then there's no better time to give it a try than on Try Something New Day. Would all passengers for Flight Bluebird please board immediately? Go on. 
clear for takeoff. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> You're flying! I think someone has just got their appetite back. Oh? Huh? He's almost as hungry as I am. Finally full and going to turn into a chrysalis. Now we just have to wait. Good morning, Big Bear. Will the chrysalids hatch today? I don't know. Let's go and look. Very welcome, little fellow. Well, I suppose if he can try something new... Will, could I have a go in your ghost speeder, please? <laughs> and she takes the checkered flag! Oh, awesome. <laughs> I did it! I'm so glad I tried something new. I'd never have known I liked it otherwise. Now I want to try it again! <laughs> <laughs> Today, Holly, I've got to water all my vegetables. <laughs> Here I go! <laughs> Save some water for me, Bluebird. Here I come! My ghost speed has got all dusty in the hot weather. I want to wash it. There's water everywhere today. <laughs> Great, isn't it? What was that? It sounds like Holly. Whatever's the matter? Oh, Rosie, I've done a terrible thing. I've been filling up my paddling pool from the stream and... <gasps> I've used up all the water. 
You can't have used it all, Holly. No. Will was using heaps of water to clean his ghost beater. What about you two with the squirters? There's no point in blaming each other. We've got to figure this out. Hello, Rosie. Have you seen Teal's nest anywhere? No. Is it lost too? We've lost the stream. <gasps> Where did it go? No nest, no stream. What am I going to do? <laughs> hey, Rosie, what's that sound? <laughs> that sounds like... Water. Water. Rosie, why is there a wall in the stream? That's not a wall, it's a dam. Great, isn't it? We've just finished. Matt and Matt. Matt and Matt, do you like our new home? Hello. You're beavers, aren't you? Oakley told me they live in streams and build dams to catch fish. Interesting. Maybe I should have a go. That's all very well, but who said you could take all these sticks? Oh, your friends here. We did. They said we all share everything, so we just took what we found. Oh, uh, we might have said something like that. But we didn't mean they could take everything. Especially all the stream. This is all stream. It's their stream. For them to share. Come on, Matt. We'd better take the whole thing down. Start again somewhere else. We know when we're not wanted. We'll just do without a home. Poor beavers. <laughs> I've got a better idea. The stream is for everyone, isn't it? That's right. Yes, of course. So let's find a way to share it. Nat, Matt, can you just take out a bit of the dam? Hey, no problem. Hey, there are enough sticks here to build a new nest. Enjoy the stream if we share it. No more wasting water. Oh, does that mean no more water squatters? I'm hot. Well, as long as we share. Ready, Raggles? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> <laughs> to Big Bear's vegetables at the same time. <laughs> Your turn to water the house plants, Raggles. I did it yesterday. But I did it two days before that. There's only one way to sort this out, Rosie. Ready? Ready for a good soaking. <laughs> a horse! <laughs> More! <laughs> Just for you, Raggles. A rabbit! <laughs> that does not look like me! It does a bit. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> little acorns! Check this out! Wow, that's really clever, Will. I'm not just the king of headers, I'm the king of shadows too. <laughs> <laughs> and now, a bird. 
<laughs> this is how a beak should look. Oh, mine is much more elegant, more refined. And as for wings... Ha-ha! <laughs> I'll give you wings! Hi, everyone. What are you doing, Will? He's been doing shadow shapes. Oh, you should have seen them, Rosie. Oh, do some for me, please. <laughs> I'm so popular today. All right, come back this afternoon and I'll do an extra special show. <laughs> right, this is more like it. Ready? <laughs> yes! yes! This is no good. I'll go and find the right place. Uh, you lot wait here. Well, what's wrong? I can't do it anymore, Rosie. This morning I could make really big shadows. Now look, I've lost my shadow. Ah. Huh. I'm not making a shadow either. It's because the sun's gone behind a cloud, that's all. You can only make shadows when it's sunny and bright. But if I don't do the show, I'll look really silly. Well, maybe there's something else we can do. Like what? Move the cloud. You better think of something fast. Everyone wants to see the show. Check. Fingers. Check. Buds. Oh, come on, you two. Check. And we've got the paper dolls. Let the show begin. put on the show, Rosie. I couldn't have done it without Holly. Look, everyone. I'm doing it too. Ooh. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Looking for something, Raggles? Dinosaur footprints. And some of them fly too. Have you seen one of these? Oh, certainly not. Who's that? A pterodactyl. It's a prehistoric bird. Ooh, I don't like the look of him at all. Where are his feathers? Let's see him race me. He hasn't got a chance. Come on, Ruggles. I need you on the seesaw. Sorry, Will. I'm hunting for dinosaurs. You're hunting for what? Dinosaurs. Now, everyone, please be quiet. I don't want them to know I'm coming. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> What's funny? There are no dinosaurs anymore. <laughs> they all disappeared millions of years ago. What? It's true. There have been no dinosaurs for a long, long time. <laughs> Even before I was an acorn. Hmm. We may not be able to find a live dinosaur, but we can still hunt for dinosaur bones! Oh! It's... it's... a... a... a, a dinosaur bone! Wow! No way! Wriggles, you've done it! Let's go and tell everyone! Um, Raggles? <gasps> Bluebird, you'll never believe what we found! I've never seen anything that's older than me before. You can touch it if you like. 
Ooh. Ruggles! Will told us about the dinosaur bone. Can we see it? I want you to see it properly. What do you mean? <coughs> be astonished, be amazed, but don't be late. Come and visit Raggle's Dinosaur Museum. <gasps> wow. This bone lay in the earth for thousands, no, millions of years until I, Raggle's, dug it up. Wow! <gasps> yes, and it probably belonged to one of these. Oh! No, actually, this really humongous one. <laughs> Big Bear, you must be so excited. The bone came from your garden. Um, oh, but, oh, it's not a dinosaur bone at all, Rosie. What? I don't know how to tell Raggles the truth. I don't want to disappoint him. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Raggles. The thing you found, it's just the handle of my old spade. Oh. <clears throat> I knew it wasn't real all along. Never mind, Raggles. It may not be a real dinosaur bone, but you shouldn't stop looking. Raggles, there you are. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? Wait, you two! Oh, those disguises aren't bad. Nearly as good as mine. But aren't you cross that we surprised you? Cross? All I've wanted all day is for us to have some fun together. Hi, Karamba! What kind of fun? Um, I've got a game you could play. Raggles, are you ready for a dinosaur hunt? The trees are ready, Rosie. Well done, Holly. Dinosaurs, get set, go! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. This looks like dinosaur territory. <laughs> Yay! Spotted one! <laughs> okay, but the next one's mine. <laughs> Whoa! Major dino alert! <laughs> <laughs> I spotted them all, the fastest and the fiercest dinosaurs in the land. <laughs> well done, Raggles. <laughs> I definitely make a better dinosaur hunter than you, Rosie. I'm quicker, sharper eyed, I'm a bit quieter than you for creeping up on things. <laughs> Watch out for the Rosiesaurus, Raggles. <laughs> What's the matter, Raggles? I'm trying to get my skimmer down, but I can't reach. It's too high up. Here, let me do it. Thanks, Rosie. I wish I were big and tall like you. You are growing. Look, that's how little you were, and that's how tall you are now. Hmm. Have I grown any more? <laughs> Not since I checked yesterday, Raggles. Oh, come on, let's go and play. 
if you like. Wow! Thanks, Will. Hola, everybody. Hello, Archie. Hey, Raggles. I like your cap. Will lent it to me. Oh, I wish I had a cap like that to keep the sun out of my eyes. But, oh, chameleons do not usually wear clothes. I don't see why not. I can make you a cap. You could? Just like this one. Exactly the same, only smaller. It won't take me long. Fantastico! Thank you, Holly. Hey, catch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do still wish I were taller, though. But I have an idea how I can be. Come with me, Rosie. Wow, Raggles. You are much taller now. I know. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, I suppose so. I love being tall. I can see so much more from up here. <laughs> Look out! Wheels cap. I'll try it on. If the cap fits. Mm -hmm. It does not fit. But I bet I still look cool like Will. Oh yes, Archie, you look. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Did someone turn the lights out? Quick! Help! Come quickly! Archie's fallen down here. Down the gap! And he can't get out. I'm stuck. Poor oh, Archie! No, no, he's quite fun down here. There's a cool echo. Woo! 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 You can't stay down there forever. Don't worry, Archie. I'll get you out. Oh, oh no. I'm too big and I can't reach down. Me neither. That's why I came for help. Uh, 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 I'm too big as well. Oh, it looks a bit scary down there. Let me try. I might be small enough to squeeze in. Or part of me, at least. <coughs> Nearly there, Archie. Hold on to my foot. <coughs> yes! yes! Raggles, my hero. The only one who could save me. <laughs> I suppose being small isn't so bad. I like being the way I am. I like you the way you are, too. Thanks for letting me borrow your cap, Will. And this is for you, Archie. Thank you, Holly. I think I will save it for special occasions. I like being just the way I am, too. <laughs> <laughs> There are so many lovely things to see here, Rosie. The trees, the stream, the... <gasps> Look! What is it, Holly? A shell! Isn't it beautiful? I know the perfect home for it. It does 
look pretty. I love this room so much. It's got a place for all my special things. Huh? I'm off to play football with Raggles. See you later, Holly. Hey, nice shell. Bye. Oh. <gasps> and left, two, three, four. Right, two, three, four. And that, Archie, is a traditional Dormouse barn dance. Oh, yes, that was nice, very nice. But now I have a dance of my own to show you from South America. It's called the Tango. Mrs. Mordy, may I have the pleasure? This dance seems most irregular. You're done. Oh. 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 Yes, not bad, Mr. Mordy. Not quite as good as me, but maybe with a little bit of practice. Now then, where's my hat? Oh, it's gone. Oh, this would never have happened with a traditional barn dance. Do not worry. I will find your hat, Mrs. Mordy. I promise. Come this way. Hello. We've nearly finished tidying up. It looks lovely. Hmm, now I'll be more comfortable in my hammock. And I'll have lots of space to play. Just a few last things to tidy away. Huh? <gasps> That's my missing plant pot. How did it get there? Well, the same thing happened with my shoe. Then where's my truck gone? Something very odd is happening today. Hmm. Let's investigate. Today has been really strange. It certainly sounds like it has been. <laughs> oh, there you are. I found your hat. Where? Behind that bush. Didn't I tell you that Archie the Chameleon always keeps his promise? At least that's one mystery solved. Look, your hat. Just like I promised. Thank you, thank you. That's a strange looking hat, Archie. Ay, caramba! What's going on? My pickup truck. We should never have tried that funny tango dance. It's caused nothing but trouble. <gasps> My hat. Come on, follow that hat. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's what's been behind all these things going missing today. A crab. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And not just any old crab. That's a hermit crab. 
when they outgrow their homes, they have to look for something bigger to live in. They live in hats. <laughs> no, they live in empty shells. This one must have grown too big to fit in his old shell, but got a bit lost looking for a new one. <gasps> that gives me an idea. Wait here. Would you like this as your new home? Are you sure, Holly? It's your favourite. I think it might be the perfect home for him. Thank you.